So this is an old bottom fuller I made a while back and something like this can serve a lot of purposes. And one of those might be to help draw out stock a little bit quicker. I sometimes use it in conjunction with this straight peen hammer, but the straight peen angle just makes hammering a little bit awkward. So I recently made this cross peen hammer in the GS Tang style and I think this will work better for me, just make uh, hammering a little bit more ergonomic when using this bottom fuller. As I've been wont to do of late, I put the oxalic acid patina on the hammer, though it'll wear off on the striking surfaces pretty quickly. Here's a second super simple bottom fuller that I made that matches the radius of the cross peen better. I rarely use an anvil horn, and so what I want to show and then also remind myself is that you can replace the function of a horn in some capacity, especially for drawing out pieces. I normally make my tongues without drawing out the reins, but in some instances that may be preferable. But even with mild steel, that can be a pretty arduous task. So these blanks are shorter than normal, and I'd like to draw them out about three inches. First, I just want to delineate between the jaw slash pivot areas and the handles. I accomplish this quickly with my fullering tool. may start to look ugly, but don't worry, it's effective. I switch to the smaller version, and right away I can feel that this is even more effective. I know that some folks might say, why don't I use my fullering tool to draw out the piece? but it's just not the same striking force when compared to direct hammer blows. I need to give a big shout out to Dave and to Quatli Roca. Dave donated during my last live stream and Quatli sent me a direct PayPal donation. By the way, I think Quatli means eagle in Aztec. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. Although I've sped up the footage, this is the actual number of heats it took for me to increase the length by 3 inches. By the way, the original diameter was 14 millimeters, and now it's about 11 and a half. I was kind of shooting for 11, but I think this will work. Currently, I'm working on a simple top and bottom swage system that would allow me to get close to the diameter I want and also to return the shape to round. And that may make an appearance in my next video. With an operation like this, the amount of scale is way more than I'm used to. Since my top and bottom swages are not complete yet, I decide to just grind the handles a bit smoother. So doing this should segue nicely into my next video where I plan to use these blanks to make a special tongue. 
Just a simple one today, but a good reminder. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.